Hey guys, so I placed a little ColourPop order this past weekend or week and I got some things, nothing too crazy. So I just wanted to try out their new palettes. Um, I really, really, really wanted the smoke session and you guys know this was retailing for $12 and you have to hit $30 to get free shipping on ColourPop. So I added the Lilac You A Lot and smoke sessions and then I've been dying to try this. This is their Glisten Up Mist for an instant glowing complexion by 4th Ray Beauty. I saw somebody, oh I think Kathleen Lights was talking about how her friend had used this on her at her So Jaded um, photo shoot and really liked it. So I thought let me try it out. I was kind of wondering if this would be like a dupe for the Anastasia um, spray that they launched. I sprayed it in store and was definitely very shimmery and beautiful so I was curious to just try like a dupe because I didn't really want to pay full price. So I really want to use smoke sessions today. Let me know down in the comments if you guys want to see me use Lilac You a lot but I'll show you both of them. So here's what it looks like. This is so funny when people saw this launch. So many people said like oh my gosh is this like a photo with a black and white filter. I think it's really cool that they did an all black like monochromatic palette. I wish they would do a rainbow palette and a pastel palette. Pastel rainbow palette, I think that would be fun. Here's Lilac You A Lot. So I have Cloud, Imagine That, Ghosting, um, Wake Me, and Fluff. So those are the first five shades. This palette doesn't have any um, press glitters, so we all like that. So here's the next four. Here, train wreck, zoned out, iffy and filtered. Super beautiful, and that's the Lilac You A Lot palette from Color, oops, from ColourPop. I might as well swatch Smoke Session before I start playing with it, so you guys can see, so I can see what colors we have. There's a really cool white matte shade wonder how pigmented that, that is. Smoking, stone face, like a light gray, salted, and then starstruck. There's the first five. There's the first five. Oh, I just dug my nail into it. So there's the next four. We have Ignite, Let's Do It, Full Metal, and Night Dream, which is a matte black with shimmers in it. So... Let me know what you think. Very polarizing palettes, of course. One's very girly and light and pastel. And then the other one's like, bam, dark, black. Ah. <laughs> so I just thought you guys might find those swatches helpful. And I'm going to take the swatches off and I'll be right back. Okay, guys, so I do have dinner plans um, after this. Oh, and I did get this too. I needed to hit uh, $30 shipping, so I picked up this is a shade from the Zoila collection. I don't know what this color is called. Sincerely Yours? It's like a pretty dark brown shade. So there's that swatched. Okay. I don't know where to start here. I'm going to start actually I think with the Young Love, which is the white matte shade. Should be interesting. I'm just going to put that in the inner corner and set my Makeup Revolution base. Just kind of packing that on my lid. Next, I kind of want to go in with a dark shade, so I'm going to go into the black called Let's Do It. And I'm just going to start off by putting that in the outer corner. I'm going to slowly start blending it towards the half of my lid. I'm not gonna drag it all the way into the inner corner because I don't wanna close off my eyes. Some people say that they find it easier to start off with the um, darker shade in the palette. I've always found it, like I always go from lightest to darkest. So I'm wondering if that's something I should consider like trying out more because I swear Annette I think from Annette's makeup corner is always talking about how 
she blends um, darkest to lightest, I believe, and seems to work really well for her. She makes such pretty eye looks, so there we have. I was also picking up some slated and also using that to blend the black. I'm trying to keep it like under my brow bone so that I don't um, look like I have a black eye. Just gonna add more white to the inner corner. Okay, I like that blend. And then I'm gonna grab a flat brush. I think I'm gonna go into full metal. It's like a gray color and I'm just gonna put that in the middle of my lid and then the outer corner. Well, like outer lid, I'm not gonna put it in the outer corner. Um, just to add some sugar. So I'm gonna leave my inner corner or another shade that I have. I'm gonna go into my silver shade, the starstruck shade, and I'm just gonna, oh, this is beautiful. I think I've heard, I think this is one of their singles, and I've heard that it's a really beautiful, vibrant silver shade. So I'm just placing that in my inner corner and like in the first half, then I'm gonna go back into full metal and... So there's a little bit of fallout, but wow, that silver turned out amazing. I think what I wanna do is add a wing liner and I'm going to finish off the rest of my face and I will be right back. Okay guys, so here is the final look. All I did was I finished up my face makeup I smoked out the waterline with just that gray shade right here called um, Slated. And then I added some Urban Decay glitter just to spice up my wing. This is the shade Midnight Cowboy. I just thought it looked really flat. That's usually my problem with cool tone palettes is I just really like warm tone goals and stuff like that. I feel like it really opens up my eye. So I just wanted to jazz up this look and make it really pop and fun and vibrant, kind of like a night out vibe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any questions, let me know down in the comments. As far as like my thoughts on this palette, of course I didn't use every shade. Um, not sure that I'm going to, I don't know. I bought this just to kind of try it out, just to do a look. It's so different from what I'm used to with my eyeshadow palette. So I thought it was a fun way to kind of try some of those gray shades that are so in right now. So very excited about having this in my collection. I will see how much use I get from it. I don't know that I'll film like another video or anything. Quality seems very consistent to the other ColourPop monochromatic palette. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick little video, this little look. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. And if you aren't subscribed to my channel, please, please go ahead and subscribe. I am trying to hit 4,000 subscribers by the end of 2019. And please, if you could subscribe, that would help me out so, so much. And I will catch you guys in my next video. Bye.